Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be going through the books that I read in the month of May. It honestly wasn't the best one that I had reading wise, but I still love to talk about the books that I was able to read. I was only able to read about four books, which honestly is not that bad. I just like to challenge myself and coming off from eight books like from last month going down to like three to four it's just i don't know it just feels kind of off a little bit the first book that i finished for the month of may i actually talked about it in my last month's wrap-up because i honestly finished it when i was doing april's wrap-up so i added in on that one but that first book is funny story by emily henry i have all of my thoughts on that other video so i'm not gonna say them again but overall i really enjoyed it it was 4.5 stars for me and it was the first emily henry book that i've read and i quite enjoy her writing style so i'm really looking forward to reading the rest of the books that she has so i don't know we'll see summer's coming around and happy place everyone says it's the perfect summer book so, so i don't know we'll see if i'll add that one to my tbr the next book that i was able to finish was collided by lauren asher i gave this one 3.75 it's an f1 race and it's also friends to lovers what i enjoy most about this book was like the character's friendship that you can see from the beginning they actually really care about one another and they just have like a lot of respect for each other so that's something that i really enjoyed about this one just how loyal they were to one another ever since the beginning however plot wise it just started getting just like repetitive so it just kind of got it was just lacking in that area but overall i really like the story friends to lovers pretty straightforward i'm also looking forward to continuing the rest of this series the next book i think is was it jack i can't remember his name but the next one is regarding another racer with i think his publicist i don't know we'll see but i'm really excited about this one i think when it comes to the series the one that everyone seems to enjoy the most is the last one which is santi's i think that's his name santi's story so i really want to continue the series i've been reading the series for a while now so i'm looking forward to picking up the next one and hopefully just concluding the whole series soon the next book that i finished was fangirl down by tessa bailey one of my favorite authors i was really excited to go back into like that tessa bailey world however i ended up giving this one 3.5 stars it's a golf romance grumpy sunshine and i still recommend it it just wasn't like the best book that i've read by her at first i was really excited to again go back to the tessa bailey world and her writing and all that but i don't know at some point like reading the book i just kind of felt like bored or like meh you know, one thing that I really enjoyed about the book though was the characters like banter, their back and forth and their physical chemistry and just how much you can see like their attraction for one another. But I was missing that deeper connection aspect of the whole relationship. And I just feel like we never really got it. And honestly, that's why I gave it the rating that I did because again, overall it was enjoyable. It was entertaining, but in terms of like the relationship aspect of it, it was just very surface level. If you want more of my thoughts on this one though, I have a vlog already up that I go more into depth about my thoughts on it as I was reading it. And then I also have it for Collided. So, and then the last book that I was able to finish was Done and Dusted by Lila Sage. When it comes to like my favorite books of the month, I put this one and A Funny Story head to head because they were both really good. They were both what I was looking for. I gave this one four stars. It is Brother's Best Friend, Small Town, and also He Falls First. So if you like those tropes, I definitely recommend you pick this one up. I also have a vlog with my thoughts on it more in depth, but it was exactly what I was looking for. A small town, summer feel, very simple and quick read plus brother's best friend which is one of my favorite tropes of all time it didn't give me that five star feel but i still really enjoyed it and i'm excited to continue the rest of the series i do have the next book which is swift and saddle but i think i've said this like on my previous video as well in the vlog where i read this one but i'm really hoping that gus which is emmy's older brother in this one also gets his own book with emmy's best friend because i don't know if you read this one but if you have please tell me if you also got the feeling that there was a little bit of chemistry tension and a really great banter overall between them which honestly when i was reading this book and they would come in and have their scene or whatever i would honestly crave more of that than continuing reading this one even though again i still enjoyed this one but i was also really looking forward to more of gus and teddy which is emmy's best friend banter and chemistry so i don't know i don't know if it's like out there already or in the works or whatever but i'm hoping that 
they get their own book. These were all the books I was able to read for the month of May. Even though I didn't read like eight books like I did last month, I still had a pretty good month. I had some good books that I read. I really enjoyed them. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to the next month of reading. Anyways, with all of that said, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed so much for watching. Let me know if you had any favorite for the month, how many books you read for the month, any recommendations that you have. Leave me everything down in the comments below. I love reading those and chatting with you. So yeah, that's going to be it. I hope you'll have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. You don't need to be Prince Charming to me. I just need this to be real. I don't need no fairy tale. You don't need a kill. Pray for